Hi guys, how are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 4th June 2023. My name is T.S.V. Rakhavan and I live in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube. Hari Bol TRSV Nectar N E C T A R Nectar. In this particular vlog, in all our previous videos, we have been discussing about the knowledge and information that we have gleaned through the study of spiritual books, scriptures, contemplation on the material universe and meditation on the spiritual universe. This particular video in the vlog is no exception to that rule. In fact, it is a mere continuation of what we have been doing in all my previous videos. Kindly subscribe to this vlog and press the bell icon so that I may keep reminding you of all my previous videos. Let us continue with the video of today and the topic of today for discussion. According to our spiritualist of yore, especially Mr. Sanjeev Malik and his group who are international spiritualists, this particular human living entity is a body which can be considered a vessel. Imagine a vessel. A, a vessel has some material inside it. When we have to put something fresh and clean in it, this particular metal material in the vessel is first removed, then the vessel is scrubbed and cleaned, and then only when it is empty, fresh material is put inside that vessel. This happens to us in all our lives. Similarly, this particular body as a living entity is also considered a vessel. This vessel is full of various thoughts, ideas, opinions, views, emotions, feelings, senses, etc. When we have to fresh to put fresh ideas inside this vessel's psyche, we first try to remove the old memories, egos, feelings, emotions, senses, thoughts, ideas, opinions, etc. out and then scrub it with devotion, chanting of God's names, reading of scriptures, knowledge through books, periodicals, contemplation, meditation, etc. Only when this living entity as a vessel is completely scrubbed clean do we put in new, fresh, pure material or spiritual ideas inside it. For this, first 
the vessel has to be cleaned. We will appreciate that we all individually as a soul were in initial stages enveloped with material layers of body. The day these layers enveloped this body into a cocoon, our endless cycle of birth and death began happening. We took several millions of births not as a human being but as cells, amoebas, algae, insects, worms, weeds, grass, shrub, trees, birds, amphibians, reptiles, animals, etc. During this period, the karma of our own living entity or our soul in that enveloped body had not begun because only when open takes birth as a human being does the karma or destiny begin as an exercise. However, in our past births in other species, we had unconscious memories. These unconscious memories were stored in our psyche for millions of births. In every birth, we collected some memory of our own, though our destiny did not begin then. After that, we began taking birth after evolvement from beasts to humans in human births. Even in human births, there are several categories and classes. According to Mr. Sanjeev Malik, the renowned international spiritual teacher, there are at least 4 lakh species of human beings alone. We must have taken birth in one or more of these species in our past birth. Our memories of human birth plus the memories of other species and the destiny and karma as humans began getting recorded in our psyche right from the moment we took birth as a human for the first time. All these ideas, thoughts, feelings, senses, etc. combined and they collectively decided on the character of we as a living entity. We could have been totally literate, illiterate, boorish, materialistic, good, passion, passionate, ignorant, divine or demonic in nature in several of our past births. All this memory and karma got stored in the psyche of our own living entity. Once we try to get spiritual, the first thing our own soul or our own psyche does is to clean this vessel of ours as a living entity. All the dirty memories of the past along with the karma and destiny of the past is first of all cleaned or emptied from our sake. 
then it is cleaned and scrubbed through contemplation, meditation, education, study of scriptures, study of books, periodicals, thoughts, ideas, opinions, mantras, chanting of mantras, singing of religious hymns, etc. Just like a scrubber is used to clean a vessel, these instruments are used to clean our own psyche. The God waits till our vessel as a living entity is totally clean. As I had mentioned even before, God takes some people into deep waters not to drown them but to clean them. Once this vessel as a living entity is totally cleaned and the Lord Almighty is satisfied that it can be filled with pure, good, holy thoughts and ideas. Then these ideas begin trickling into this vessel slowly but steadily. Please don't be under any wrong impression. Just like fresh water pours down an empty vessel into the vessel to fill it, these ideas also pour into this living entity vessel. No, it takes time. It starts trickling in slowly and steadily. Yes, it is a fact that as a living entity, this person has to be quite patient and perseverant. He or she must keep being spiritual birth after birth, death after death. Only then this vessel will begin filling to such an extent that one day the same person becomes first a materialistically intellectual person, then a saint, a monk, a rishi, a renunciant, a maharishi, a celestial being, an angel or a demigod. When this happens, this person once for all gets liberated from repeated births and deaths and then as a purified and evolved soul goes back to the Godhead. This must be the aim of every human living entity. This is the ultimate goal of every human living entity. Unless and until he or she is completely spiritual in every millimeter of its vessel called the living entity, this person does not qualify to be liberated from repeated births and deaths. All the sanchit karma of the living entity has to be worked out before it is totally empty once again and comes out as a squeaky clean, spiritually clean, wholesome living entity and a soul which is totally evolved. 
only then it will be allowed to enter the kingdom of God. Once this happens, the same person may or may not, according to his wish, whims, fantasies and assignments, take birth in this material world as a saint, a heretic, a rishi, a maharishi, a godman, and so on. This is a very slippery place where one takes birth only after getting qualified to take birth in it. For example, a PhD student can adjust in a play school, but a 12th class student will likely make mistakes of his or her own in the same play school because he or she is not yet evolved enough to adjust into this play school. You need the intellectual experience and maturity to be born in this material world and to do good to humanity. Let us pray that we get evolved and qualified one day to take birth as heretics, maharishis, monks, godmen, etc. for the sake of humanity, just like Jesus Christ, Guru Nanak, Gautama the Buddha, Mahavir Jain, etc. Kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this particular subject. Please give me your own expert views, opinions, ideas and thoughts so that I may blend everything together for the sake of this society. Before concluding, let me remind you that I am also a published author with Amazon Kindle and paperback and I write on spiritualism, fiction and assorted subjects. Spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject. Till we meet in my next video, it is Good Morning from TSV Raghavan.